uses roughly 100 million barrels of oil each and every day in 2019. That significant amount of the fuel that has to be pumped from underground, processed and then delivered to the fuel stations across the world. This significant intake of non-renewable resources also means that oil companies are constantly looking for new oil reserves to tap into to meet the high demand. In the Arctic Circle alone, it is estimated 13% of the entire world's oil reserves are trapped under the ocean floor. In terms of the what's under the entire world's ocean, it is estimated that 84% of all the non-renewable fuels that Earth has yet found under the ocean floor. That possesses a significant problem just how to get all the carbon-based fuel out. The development of offshore oil platforms the first offshore oil platform was constructed in 1897 off the coast of California. Oil companies invested heavily in the technology over the next several decades. In fact, the largest structure mankind had ever moved in a massive oil rig. The oil companies find oil. In order to find where all this oil is located under the seafloor, companies have to use sniffer equipment. This equipment taking the samples of seawater and determines if there are trace amount of oil in nature or gas. When the signal they have found something, researchers they have to do a magnetic survey on the seafloor to determine where there might be anomalies underground. These survey researchers' terms can also be seismic surveying which send shock waves through the seafloor and listen for how those waves are returned through hydrophones. Once a reserve of oil has been determined, the formation is passed of the respective oil company and offshore drilling can begin. Installing an offshore oil platform, the first step after an underwater oil reserve has been found is the installation of exploratory wells. Each of these wells take two to three months to install, and they are used to take samples of the rock layers underneath the seafloor. This is the same geological process used for building large buildings on the land, except that the process has to be done thousands of feet underwater. Once the core samples taken from the exploratory wells yield more accurate survey results, companies will map out the surface structure and determine the exact place to drill the production well. Production wells are the main source of a given offshore oil platform, and there are what these platforms are put into the place to run. Once the exact location of the production well is determined, engineers start developing plans of how the place of offshore oil like a
The entire process of installing an offshore oil rig takes roughly two to three years. The average price for one of these rigs is roughly $650 million. So companies are handing significant bets on any given location when they choose to install a rig. That said, a four-dimension underground mapping gives enough information that these companies can be fairly certain their investment will pay off over time. One thing you might not be aware of that these oil wells and platforms don't just drill straight down. Thanks to the directional drilling technology, oil platforms have the capability of trapping into tens of different reserves in the same general location. Directional drills have the ability to turn in a wave through the underground surface, essentially allowing them to bore to the exact location where oil is located. The drill itself is made up of the roughly 10 meter sections that all fit together. So as the length of the this section is drilled, oil workers just install another section and keep drilling. Again, this process is similar to how oil drilling is carried out on land. Radar offshore platforms have added a challenge of being multi out of the sea. 
Between the oil rig and the floor where the actual drilling is occurring, there is a flexible tube that holds the rotating drill. This tube is called a marine riser, which protects the drill from the elements and the breakage wind into the ocean. Once the drill reaches the oil, the process can get a little bit more dangerous. Oftentimes, subsea oil reserves can be highly pressurized, which means that offering drilling a hole to the dam can be much like the popping a balloon. This can cause a massive explosion of crude oil on the surface of the rig if not to protect against. Oil companies have installed blowout prevention system that essentially function as specialized wells that only operate when a blowout is detected. Once the oil is tapped into the offshore rig can function as the initial processing and the management of the oil or natural gas collection process.
day to life on an offshore oil rig. As you can imagine, oil rig workers are completely isolated from the rest of the world, meaning that these rigs have to have everything needed not only for oil production, but also for the daily life of the workers. If a rig is close enough to shore, workers might be transported on ships or helicopters for their shifts. But for rigs further out to sea, it makes more sense for there to be accommodation on the rig for the workers to live. The living quarters for rigs are typically built as far away from the hazards of oil production as possible and the closest possible to the escape boats. This is to ensure that if something were to go wrong with the offshore rig, human loss is minimized as possible. While the manning needed the oil platform varies drastically based in its size, platforms in general will have about 100 to 150 workers on board to keep everything running smoothly. Offshore rigs run 24 hours, 365 days a year, which means that everyone in a rig works in a day-night shift. Being that this job requires the workers to be away from their families and allowed ones for extended periods of time, they are compensated fairly well. Entry-level positions are roughly 50,000 per year, whereas more specialized engineering positions can earn upwards $200,000 per year. Another thing to note is that all of your living expenses are taken care of while on the rig, so your expenses are drastically lower on rigs where you are out of the sea for extended period of time. Berkut is the world's biggest oil platform which has begun commercial production at a Sakhalin 1 offshore project in the Russian's Far East. The Berkut oil rig is expected to extract 4.5 million tons of oil annually. You heard right, 4.5 million tons a year, a terrible number. The Sakhalin 1 consortium was formed in 1996, is the first major shell project in Russia created under the terms of the Productive Sharing Agreement. The International Consortium is made up of the U.S. major ExxonMobil. Russia sniffs 20% and India's ONGS Swedish 20%. The Berko platform is expected to produce 1,200,000 tons of oil daily, or about 4.5 million tons annually, raising the total output of the Sahalin 1 consortium to 25,000 tons a day. <laughs> 